Hey there, and welcome to our third and final video about offloading media from cards. Today we'll be looking at the preset mode in ShopPut Pro. Let's go ahead and open up ShopPut Pro. You'll see that it opens up in simple mode, which is what we looked at in a previous video. Today we're going to be looking at the preset mode, which you can select in the upper left hand corner. You'll notice that it looks quite different than the simple mode. Before we get started, we'll need to set up a preset, which is located here, before we begin offloading cards. You can edit any preset by clicking on the pencil icon. This is the Edit Preset screen, and since we're offloading a bunch of GoPro footage today, let's name this preset GoPro Offload. Let's take a look at what options you can edit here. You can use Basic or Advanced Folder Naming. We'll be using Basic since we're only dealing with a single camera. In the Convention drop-down menu, you can customize how your folders are named. You can use dates, names, or numbers here, but I like to keep track of how many cards I've shot in a particular camera, so I'll choose auto numbering. We can add a prefix to the name by filling in the prefix text box, and since this is GoPro footage, let's call it something like GP underscore card. ShotPut Pro will then fill in the number of the card using the auto numbering naming convention we just selected. You'll get a preview of the resulting folder name here at the bottom. Since we know we'll be shooting more than 10 GoPro cards on this shoot, Let's change the minimum digit selection to 2. This ensures our folder name will remain sortable even if we shoot more than 10 cards. Since this is the first card we're offloading, the starting value should be set to 1. If we had already shot some cards previously, we'd set this to the next number in the series. Next, we'll need to set up a destination for our offloads. You can do this by dragging and dropping from the desktop. Simply find the folder you want to copy and drag it in here. You can also add a destination by navigating through the software to the folder you want. Either way is fine, it just depends on how you want to work. You can add more destinations here if you'd like. A good example would be if your client wanted a full copy of all the media from set. If you needed to create more presets, you can do that here by pressing the plus button. I like having one for each different type of camera I am using. So we're set to go. Let's go ahead and open up all our destinations so we can monitor things as we process these cards. All we need to do now is drag our card into the Drop Files Here drop zone and hit the play button to start the offload. So our first card is complete. You'll notice that the card automatically ejected. You can change this behavior in preferences if you like, but I find it helps speed the process along, especially if I'm offloading lots of cards in one session. Let's load up our next card and drop it in the Drop Files Here drop zone. So our second card is finished offloading. Let's look at what's been going on here. ShopPut Pro has created, named, and numbered folders that represent each card we have offloaded. Each of these copies have been verified as accurate, and you know this from the green complete message here. This is the secret sauce of an offloading utility, and it frees you up to do other work while the cards are offloading. I'll shut up now and copy the rest of our cards. Okay, all the cards are done, so let's review what we have here. On my portable drive, I have the five cards we offloaded, and the same is true for the RAID. We have reports for each of them. These reports contain a file-by-file -file account of the offload for each card. Will you ever use them? I don't know, but they're great for peace of mind, and some clients require them for camera media delivery. Anyway, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you again soon.